So the next aspect we're going to look at is Microsoft Teams and how you can use this to extend the classroom um, and engage with students. So from the mega menu, we've looked at the curricular sites and the non-curricular sites. And now we're going to look at the class dashboard and how we can jump straight into Microsoft Teams. So under classes, you'll see um, a link to class dashboard. They're a list of all the classes that you teach if you're a teacher or all the classes that you're in if you're a student. And I can click directly on one of those classes or I can click on the link at the top for class dashboard to see all of them. So this shows me a list of all the classes that I teach because I'm logged in as a teacher. I can select on one of these classes and it'll show me all the students in this class. So this is a year 11 English class, 11Y English 3. And because of that, we've got a link here to the English resources. And this is the same site that we looked at in the previous videos. These are the long term resources for the English department. The rest of the links go straight into Microsoft Teams and straight into the relevant areas. So if I click on class team, it opens up Microsoft Teams and goes straight into that relevant team, 11Y English 3. So you'll see Teams is a different app. It's not a website like SharePoint. And we'll go through the different aspects of these in the next videos. Just going back to the class dashboard, we can actually even click on a student. And this is the student view. This is what the student will see. And they can jump straight into the relevant areas that they want to as well, including the class team, the student work folder, the assignments, etc.